Excuse me. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days. After Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. I'm gonna tell you fucking throw it out! Another recruit died last
some, motherfucker! Lower level. Lower level. Going down. Main assembly line. You find those raiders? Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend.
You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more Allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? You guys came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturgis, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Hey, that means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Okay, I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen, and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last minute man is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time.